our theater-going audiences must come see MGM in concert because it is such a unique take in a throwback style of musical review that is rarely done anymore and performed by four incredible talents. Myself, of course. Christy Morrow Cohen and Christopher Showerman share the stage with me and we are supported by the amazing piano talent of David Scott Cohen. Um, you put the four of us together, and it's just going to be a good time. Hi, I'm John Peterson, Executive Artistic Director of P3 Theater Company, producer and performer in MGM in Concert. If you want to hear more about our exciting show, make sure you watch this video. The MGM musicals and the MGM movie musicals were so popular in their time because there was nothing else being done like that. They were taking these full-scale musicals and putting them up on the big screen and hiring the best of the best of the talent to perform these musicals. And the, the style of music and, and the, the story behind the music and, and the lyrics, they're so relevant even today. Uh, so th that's why they, they will stand the test of time, truly. Uh, you know, we're kind of aging out of that era where people may be familiar with a lot of this music, but if they listen to the lyrics and to the message that's being told, they will be able to relate. Our production of MGM in Concert is a crowd favorite for all ages. Um, the older generation is going to be more familiar with the music. They'll hum along with the tunes. They'll sing along with the lyrics. And as the crowds get younger, they may not be as familiar with the material, but it's fun. It's relevant. It's lighthearted. My seven-year-old and my nine-year-old nieces love the show. They have very little exposure to musicals, but it's so upbeat and catchy tunes and so much fun going on on stage that they can't help but get caught up in it. And uh, Tony, I can quote Tony, the creator, saying at one point, if there's even one little song in the show that you're not really a fan of, the show moves so quickly that by the time you realize, oh, I don't really care for this song, it's over. And we're already on to the next song that you're going to love no matter what. So uh, that's, just, that's just that. And... The three of us that are in the show love this material so much, and we get along so well. We're a family, and that reads into the audience. The audience senses our connection, and they get caught up in that, and they become connected with us. So it's, it's really as if they feel they are part of our journey through this music. One of the cool things about this upcoming year with MGM and Concert is that I only recently realized, uh, so I've been doing the show, we've been doing MGM in Concert since 1996. That's 27 years, right? Yeah, 27 years. Um, I sat down and did the math and asked Christy, hey, how old is your dad? And we got to talking and I realized that next year in 2024, I will be the age that Tony was when I started doing MGM in concert back in 1996. So that's kind of a really cool for full circle thing, uh, if you really think about it. Um, Tony is Christy's dad. Uh, he's not a spring chicken. None of us are anymore, let me tell you. Some days we come out of doing the show and we're like, oh my God, that was so much harder than it was 27 years ago, but we love it just as much, if not even more. So as, as time has gone on, um, uh, we've realized it's, it's, it's a big feat. And so Tony has stepped down from the show as far as performing on stage with us. He will always be on stage with us. Uh, but what we did was we had to go out in search of somebody who could fill the very big shoes that Tony has left for us. Um, so we came across this amazingly wonderful, talented performer and person, Chris Showerman, and uh, he is now part of our MGM family. So our family's just grown by one, uh, and he is just as wonderful as Tony in his own right, because nobody can fill Tony's shoes. There is no Tony Santamoro other than Tony Santamoro. Uh, but if somebody had to bring a sense of joy and excitement and talent and fun to this production, Chris Showerman is the one to fill that bill. 
So now with Chris Showerman joining myself and Christy Morrow Cohen on the stage, uh, it's a really fun mixture of of talent and family. Uh, as I mentioned before, Christy and I have been doing this show together and other shows outside of this for over a quarter of a century at this point. And uh, we've got this amazing connection. I mean, she's she's my older sister. Uh, <laughs> actually, she's my, my birthday twin. Christy and I share the same birthday. Uh, I won't tell you who's older, but we'll, we'll you know, she's, she'll always be prettier than me. That's what matters. And uh, to be able to be on that stage with her, and now Chris, it is just a joy. And there's nobody I'd rather sing a love duet with than my birthday twin. For me as a performer, when I am on stage doing MGM in concert, I've said over and over, I've been doing this show for over a quarter of a century. I've never been bored with this show. Uh, as I've mentioned over and over again, you know, when, when you have a live performance, there are two that are not the same. I could wake up one morning and my foot hurts, and I have to perform with a foot that hurts. But the best part about performing is you don't have to think about that foot that hurts while you're on stage entertaining other people and being a part of this live theatrical experience. When I am performing MGM in concert, because I'm so familiar with it, I'm so comfortable with it, and I really, truly enjoy performing this music, I don't have any troubles when I'm on stage for that 90 minutes that this show is happening. I'm literally caught up in the musicality. Uh, with David Cohen playing this music, our amazing musical director and accompanist, there is no accompanist I've ever worked with in my life that is like David Cohen. And uh, I, it's always a comfort zone. It's, it's a, a happy place. And I just get so swept up in the lyrics, too. It's not just about sounding good and, 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 and performing for people, but it's, it's about interpreting stories uh, and telling stories and sharing the stories and music with, with our audiences. So I am just literally like on a different planet when, when I'm performing this and just really enjoy the heck out of it. For the theater patron that comes to see MGM in concert, first and foremost, I want them to have fun, to enjoy their time, to relish in this beautiful music. Um, I'm hoping that there will create a sense of nostalgia for those who are familiar with a lot of this music. Um, and to introduce younger generations to this style of music and musical. Um, but really, overall, it is just to have fun and to take people away from everything that's going on in the real world and to offer a sense of levity and joy. And I want to see smiles when, when people walk out of that theater. In general, my favorite part of MGM in concert, for, for me, you know, I'm, I'm not your leading man type, you know, I'm bald, uh, not as thin as I used to be. Uh, so when I get cast in shows, I'm always the funny guy. I'm always the, uh, the sidekick, which is a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong. But what I like about MGM in concert is I get to sing all the pretty music. And I was classically trained as a singer, uh, so I get to tap into that technique and that style of, of sounding really pretty and, and singing beautiful songs. Um, and really, any time I am singing a duet, a, a love duet with Christy, uh, it's just fun and, and warm, and uh, we have a great connection. No, we are not in love with each other. She's got a husband. I'm gay. But uh, <laughs> just getting to, to do that and, and, and create those characters song by song. Um, and I have to say, one of my favorites that I sing with her is So In Love from Kiss Me Kate. Um, it's such a beautiful, Cole Porter is, is an amazing composer. And that song with the harmonies that we are doing, uh, we have such a blend and a connection. Uh, that is amazing. Now, on the 
other hand, I do like to be fun and silly. And Chris Showerman and I have some great fun times together. Um, Brush Up Your Shakespeare is also from Kiss Me Kate. And it's a silly, fun character type song. So those are really my two favorite moments in the show. Um, solo, I get a lot of great solo work in this show. And it's just just to sit back and relish in it is is amazing and fun. But singing with the two of them, each with the different styles of music, is is the best. Our theater-going audiences must come see MGM in concert because it is such a unique take in a throwback style of musical review that is rarely done anymore and performed by four incredible talents. Myself, of course. Christy Morrow Cohen and Christopher Showerman share the stage with me and we are supported by the amazing piano talent of David Scott Cohen. Um, you put the four of us together and it's just going to be a good time. One of the cool things about MGM in concert is that we have performed this show in tiny little clubhouses, even almost meeting room type spaces. And we've also performed it on 2000 seat theaters, uh, big proscenium stages. Uh, so this show can play just about any space. Um, we do have the show playing in different theaters around Orange County and LA counties. And as I've said, uh, I would love to see that expand. But the show is also available for us to perform at different facilities, uh, different um, centers uh, for potentially for fundraising events, uh, corporate parties. Uh, so it's not just a show that we have to do in a theater by itself and perform for specific audiences. It can be done in any type of setting. My hope long term for MGM in concert is that we can have multiple iterations of this production where we have different casts outperforming it. Really nationwide would be fantastic. I'd love to get a touring company going. I would love to get this show on the cruise ships. Uh, this type of show would be so welcome on cruise lines. Um, and I would just love to have it going on a regular basis and be bringing this music and this, this particular production to audiences all over. Again, this is John Peterson, Executive Artistic Director and founder of P3 Theatre Company. For more information on MGM in Concert, be sure to visit our website at www.p3theater.biz. That's P3-T-H-E-A-T-R-E dot B-I-Z. See you at the theater. For more information on where to find MGM in Concert or to book MGM in Concert for a private event, make sure to visit our website at www.p3theater.biz.
For more information on where to find MGM in Concert or to book MGM in Concert for a private event, make sure to visit our website at www.p3theater.biz.